Hello, Aries. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope well. Happy new moon in Pisces, okay? Um, so I hope you guys don't mind the setup. All right, I didn't feel like doing my readings in my room today. Um, so I'm sitting out here doing them, so I hope it's okay. All right, so let's see what's going on, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, guys. Please remember to flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Okay, um, anybody that's called to watch this video, you're welcome here as well. Cross watchers, you are also welcome. All right, so let's tap in, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you all. And spare guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic that's sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, please return it back to the sender. Okay. Thank you so much. So let's see. What's going on here for Aries spirit? What does Aries need to hear today? What is going on with them? Messages for Aries. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. So I'm getting fast movement, uh, fast action being taken here. Um, this could be somebody coming towards you very quick. This person is like determined to come your way. Um, or this could be you taking action on something, seizing an opportunity. Okay, but the Knight of Swords is somebody that's very goal-oriented. So whoever this is, they have a goal in mind here. They're not playing either. <laughs> whoever the fuck this is. What else? It could be heart-centered. Because I, I see this light right here. It's by the heart. So it could be this person is following their heart. Okay, but they're doing it with, they're using their head too. I feel like, you know, there could be a truth, yeah, that's, that this person needs to speak to, uh, to tell you. Okay, this person, yeah, they wants to have a like conversation here, whoever this is. All right, could be. But let's see. For some of you, this person is traveling. You could live at a distance here. Yeah, awakening. Pisces energy, that's the hangman. yeah so yeah somebody is it looks like you could be seeing something from a different perspective and you're taking action or this is this person but i'm definitely getting um someone here has been making a lot of sacrifices after like being able to like pause and reflect on something i feel like they have somebody has awakened to something they see something okay which is helping them or or guiding them to make a decision or guiding you to make a decision here a clear one too because somebody's very sure of something what else <clears throat> this person could have been stagnant for a while or you could have been stagnant for a while but i feel like now you're taking action okay yep the sun yeah something has been exposed leo energy so somebody here is choosing their happiness. Somebody, yeah, uh, Ten of Cups. Yep, the tower. <laughs> okay, some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant. Congrats. But I'm definitely getting with the sun. That's success. So whatever this is that's getting ready to take place in your life, Aries, I feel like it's going to be very successful. It's going to make you happy. Um, I'm getting, like, excitement. Okay, whatever this is, you're going to be excited to do it or somebody's coming towards you with all this enthusiasm, this excitement. Okay, but somebody here, something is definitely being exposed. All right. Or you're becoming enlightened about something. The high priestess, yeah. Somebody's intuition is heightened as hell. <laughs> Just period. Pisces, strong Pisces energy. You could have strong Pisces in your chart. You could be on the cusp. Aries. But yeah, you could be getting a lot of downloads right now. A lot of like things hitting you at one time possibly because you, you're seeing something. This is really like pushing someone to take action or this is you. But the high priestess, your intuition is calling for you to do something. Okay, I feel like you're very you're very wise here, but you're getting some kind of like gut feeling or a nudge to like make a move, do something, take action after a time of like reflection. Um, you could be releasing something, you could be letting something go. Okay, as well. But yeah. The the dreamer, that's the fool. Yeah, so there there is definitely yeah, you're prepping for this new beginning that's coming. <laughs> Okay, this could be an Aquarius for some of you, but definitely a new beginning. Okay, a leap of faith. 
I'm getting somebody's getting ready to take a major risk. It's going to be very spontaneous and very like different from the norm. Somebody's stepping out of their comfort zone to do something. Okay. Or you're, you're just breaking free of whatever was restricting you or keeping you stuck. Or this is your person. Yep, Six of Swords. Definitely travel indicated here. Somebody could be traveling, coming your way, or this is you um, traveling or moving on. You could be just moving on from something here because your your perspective shifted. You, you, you have awakened to something. But this is like peace and harmony being restored in your life. If you were having an issue with someone or in a particular relationship, you could be moving on from one. But I feel like somebody's coming towards your ass for one. Yeah, three of cups. <laughs> okay, period. A major transformation is happening here. So we're going to have an Aquarius Mercury. The Temperance in Reverse. Yeah, this is like hasty energy. Somebody is like trying to move fast to do something. Okay. <clears throat> it could be a Sagittarius here. This could be somebody here that you're not seeing eye to eye with. You're experiencing some kind of like discord with someone. Okay, um, but I feel like whatever was keeping you imbalanced, I feel like it's being exposed to you so you can move forward, whatever it could have been. Okay, yeah, you could have been having a hard time making a decision with the Two of Pentacles or trying to stay in balance. It could have something to do with your finances. Okay. Let's see. It feels like somebody is having an aha moment. Like they they finally see what to do here or something like that. Okay, yeah, the four of wands, yes. The high priestess with the four of wands. Three of pentacles, three of wands. Could be an Aries here. So I have a Capricorn Mars, Aries Venus here. Bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. So there's a contract coming in with the four of wands. Okay, there's like a contract coming in. You're getting ready to collab with somebody or work with someone. Okay, but something is going to be caused for a celebration. This could be a reunion coming in for some of you with the four of wands. It could be with your actual twin if you have a twin flame here. All right. Somebody, your intuition could be calling you to like move. Move to a different um, home, a different location. Maybe move out of a home or something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, with the temperance in reverse too, with the sun, I'm getting divine timing it could be now. Okay, divine timing is like now. Okay. But I see a celebration. I see prosperity coming in for you here with the 401 stability. A contract here that I feel like you're going to really like. And you could be keeping this a secret. Whatever you're doing here, you're not really saying too much yeah the emperors with the fool definitely a new beginning here it could be something that you are creating taking a risk on creating all right or this could be somebody coming towards you empress if you're the empress so let's see let's see what this is because this looks like exciting energy but what's what's the um knight of swords the queen of wands Aries, that's you. So I feel like you feel re-energized. You feel, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working on something. You're taking action on something here or you're just working um, because you you just got that vit vitality. Like your energy is upbeat, is vibrant, okay? Um, the, the Queen of Wands is somebody that's very passionate. So you could be working on something that you're passionate about, okay? Um... Yeah, but I feel like you have a lot of energy. You could be very, very, very just like energized. You feel good. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this right here. Yeah, you could be feeling like hella confident enough to do something at this time. So I feel like, yeah, you should go ahead and do it. Let's see. Who's the queen of wands right here? You could be um, trying to complete many tasks. You're getting ready to take action on a lot of them here. You're taking charge in something. What's the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Wands is somebody that's very fertile as well. So right now you could really be in an energy where you could definitely create something. Yeah, okay, the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. 
It could be having something to do with children. You're probably uh, possibly needing to um, take care of some shit uh, with your children or whatever. Um, I feel like you're very gifted as well. You could work with children. Somebody's name could be Malaya. Okay, I just heard Malaya. <laughs> I don't know why, but... <clears throat> Some of y'all, yeah, there, there could be somebody from your past that's coming towards you. This person is coming towards you here very quick. Okay, yeah, see the king of wands? Yeah, three of wands in reverse. They're returning. Whatever this is, it's been delayed. Something has been delayed. Ace of wands in reverse is disappointing news or, or this is somebody else that's disappointed. Okay, but let, let's let's keep going. I just feel like there's a delay or like stuck energy or something like that. Somebody's very nostalgic though. I feel like they're thinking about you. Okay. You guys could be seeing 888. Yeah. There's somebody else here that is conniving here. Cunning, greedy, manipulative with the magician in reverse. They could even be doing spell work. Somebody is, is in your energy doing some fucking spell work. <laughs> yep. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is a spell work using ass bitch when they ass is in reverse. Okay, this this person is obsessed with dark magic. Yeah, so, all right. Yep. But I, I feel like somebody's coming towards you very quick. They're taking this risk to come towards you, come visit you or something like that. But somebody, yeah, this is your soulmate. There's like reconciliation energy here. What's the, the uh, hangman, the awakening card? Yep, king of wands. Child, I cannot make it up. Yeah, what what what's the King of Wands doing? This person is awakening. They're seeing something. Yep, the Temperance. <laughs> yeah, Sagittarius energy. So whoever this is down here, yeah, I feel like you've been very patient with this person. Divine timing is now for something to take place. Okay, that's just what I feel. All right, but the King of Wands is just like the Queen of Wands. It's somebody that's going to take action. So it's just giving. Who's going to say something to somebody first? I don't know. Both of y'all got the same energy. They thinking about you. You're thinking about them or whatever the case. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo. Okay, your person could have Sagittarius, Leo in their chart. Um, highly aspected, I guess. But this is reconciliation. Soulmate vibes. Okay, definitely your counterpart. You and this person, y'all are very spicy together. <laughs> okay, a lot of sexual chemistry. A lot of like energy and passion. I feel like you both like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But y'all both make each other like, y'all balance each other out. Shit. Yep. This is somebody figuring out that you're their perfect match. I feel like this person is balanced now or something like that. They're balanced. But I feel like this person wants to heal something, wants to bring, bring peace into a situation and harmon harmony. Okay. Yeah. How beautiful. What else? I feel like you both could be very outgoing down to earth i really do feel like that and hard working as well you're very good at multitasking what's the sun yep ten of pentacles wow yeah four of wands this is beautiful nine of pentacles <laughs> this is so nice four of wands coming out twice someone could have a virgo mercury yeah this is a reunion <laughs> This is a reunion, a chance to build with this person. I'm definitely getting a strong reunion, okay? Yes, I feel like whoever this is is your perfect match. Y'all are going to be able to build a home, build a family, build a life together, get married, settle down, have kids. This is your your inheritance, <clears throat> a part of your inheritance anyway. They meant to be a part of something. This person is awakening to that. They know that. This is so nice. Wow. <laughs> you guys should be seeing 999-444. You could be getting hit with a lot of synchronicities right now. Yeah, whatever this is that's coming in is going to make you so happy, bro. This is so nice. I cannot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, four cups in reverse. Something is finally moving. It's taking off. You have the high priestess. Yeah, this is nice. The high priestess here two times. Well, I just saw it. So... Okay, some of y'all could be even relocating. You could you could have to travel to see this person or they could have to travel to see you. But I feel like whatever this is, is going to be a very celebratory time. This is so nice. What's the high priestess? Damn. 
What's the high priestess here? Spirit. Yeah, I know I got OCD. I like my cards to be neat. <laughs> or whatever. What's the high priestess? Yep, the Knight of Cups. Someone is following their intuition. Someone is definitely following their intuition here. I feel, this is what you don't see coming with the moon. Yeah, this is like... Okay, yeah. Somebody here is at a very vulnerable spot. With the Strength card in reverse, I feel like that's vulnerability. They could definitely be in their emotions, hiding their feelings. But with the Two of Wands in reverse, I feel like they, they feel like... Um, this is like somebody that's suddenly arriving somewhere. This person, there's going to be a sudden arrival and I feel like you're not going to see it at all. It's, it's going to come like out of nowhere. Somebody's options too. This is somebody's child's mother or father. Their options are restricted. They can't come wherever, wherever this person is going. They can't follow this person or whatever the fuck. <laughs> they can okay i feel like somebody's kind of like in their feelings about that but oh well bitch yeah somebody's having outbursts they're mad about something page of wands with the queen of swords in reverse gossiping running their big ass mouth <laughs> like oh well bitch oh well yeah yeah i feel like this bitch this person they did enough fucking damage just period <clears throat> But the Knight of Cups, yeah, this is a romantic gesture, romantic offer. Somebody really, really listening to their inner voice here. It's like they've awakened. They have a sense of intuition. They feel, they see, they hear. I feel like somebody, if somebody was doing this damn magic, yeah, <laughs> this person is finally like awakened. For sure. So the Knight of Cups is an apology. It could be uh, a date. I feel like you feel it coming too with the High Priestess. You know you're masculine. This is your person. They're, they're bringing their ass. They're coming. <laughs> Just period. Okay, this is nice. What's the fool? The page of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody is, is, is breaking free of someone here that's really envious or jealous of you. Okay, because y'all lining up here. This person is jealous of you here. Very envious. This person is obsessed with their image. Okay, I feel like if this person is, is, is kind of like scared about how they're going to look to you, I feel like they don't give a fuck with the dreamer, with the fool. I feel like they're going to take a risk anyway and they don't care. But yeah, the page of cups in reverse is like envy, it's jealousy to me. Okay, let's see. What's the page of cups in reverse? I feel like that's this other person here that's mad. Oh, well, bitch. Yeah, nine of wands uh, upright. Someone could have a Sag moon. So this is like, you could be feeling guarded, okay? Or this is this person trying to guard themselves from this other person. Because the Nine of Wands talks about, um, somebody here learned their lesson here. They, they learned a lesson, a very valuable lesson about people that are superficial. People that are stuck on their, their looks and shit like that, but really they ain't got shit going on. They ain't got shit to offer. It's just like they only got looks and that shit probably don't even look like nothing. <laughs> okay, like... Yeah, somebody here has really, like, really bad childhood issues. Okay, it could be your person, too. They could have childhood issues here. But somebody's very vindictive and obsessed, okay, with someone else. I don't feel like it's healthy either. But for some of you, this is this person that's obsessed with you. I don't know. But with the page of cups in reverse, I don't know. I don't get a good vibe from them. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah. <laughs> Somebody here, this, okay, thank you, Spirit. This is like bad news here. Somebody's getting bad news. It's this person that they were with or whoever the fuck. They can have children with this person, but somebody here is getting bad news or finding out something that someone else did to them or something like that. Yeah, somebody is saying that someone is quite immature, quite weird because they sitting up here jealous and shit like that. It's like, bitch, bye. I feel like somebody is now guarded against this person. They seen whatever they needed to see. But something is definitely an ongoing battle. All right, somebody could be quite fatigued, quite drained. But this is somebody having the courage to stand up for themselves. You know? There's been a lot of setbacks here because of someone else. Or maybe they ass. It's because of they ass that things are set back or delayed. But... 
yeah somebody is persevering through whoever this is that they got to deal with they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want to do and i feel like that's good bitch don't nobody got time for somebody that's sitting up here mad bitch be mad everybody gets mad oh well you might as well get glad <laughs> you might as well get glad what's the six of swords just period okay the judgment reverse yeah there will be no more second chances somewhere something cannot be resurrected if something is not happening and something is moving forward somebody is moving on moving forward yeah somebody has all the clarity that they need okay just period um i feel like this person though or this is you somebody here really has a problem maybe being i'm not gonna say i don't know something about this person's intuition that could have been blocked in the past. I feel like this person is trying to get to know themselves again. Like they can actually feel their intuition. Um, that they, they can actually feel themselves. They can feel those feelings again. Because I feel like whoever this is, they normally make smart decisions anyway. Somebody is also saying that there was someone here that falsely accused you of something with the judgment in reverse. Somebody judged something wrong. What's the judgment in reverse? Could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Another Aries could have did this stupid shit. There's like gossiping and shit going on. What's the judgment in reverse? Yeah, five of wands. Because <laughs> somebody here is jealous of you. They're in competition with you. So now they're mad. Somebody's moving on peacefully. They do not give a fuck. I feel like an unbothered energy is here. Somebody just does not care. Just at all. So I can have a Leo Saturn. Yeah, so somebody is saying that you are falsely accused because of their jealous ass ways. You were presented as somebody that was a false person in this person's life. So they could have a chance with this person. And they... They not getting it. They getting this bad news. Like, bitch, well, to the little bitch, we we break we breaking up or I can't stay here with your stupid ass. All right, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now they mad. Whoever this is is fighting, arguing, bickering, just dramatic because they know that somebody is moving the fuck on. Well, what's the ten percent reverse right here? Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. <laughs> yeah, the chariot in reverse. <sighs> yeah, the high priestess with the Empress. I knew that was your ass, um, Aries. Let's see, what's the Three of Wands in reverse here? This person is rushing back to you. What's the Three of Wands in reverse? There's definitely a big, big ass comeback. Yes, the Knight of Wands. The fool, this person is rushing back to you, bro. No bullshit. This King of Wands is the Knight of Wands. This person is fine as hell, too. Whoever this is, <laughs> you and your person are sexy as fuck. Definitely a very strong. I don't know. You could feel the, the chemistry from, like, miles away. Or if y'all were out, people could really tell, like, that y'all are a match made in fucking heaven. Ooh. Aries. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, court. For some of you with the justice and the king of swords, this person could be in court when it comes down to kids and shit like that. Or they could just be taking somebody else to court. That's probably the things that this person needs to do. Yeah, and it's going to turn out in their favor or your favor here. Court is going to work out in your favor. Yeah, whatever this is, you're on the right path. 23, 23, keep going. Whatever this is that's about to happen, honey. Uh, yeah, the emperor. Wow, I'm happy to see the emperor upright. I am because this is your masculine. Oh, we okay. <laughs> What's let's see the fool right here? Yeah, with the seven of cups in reverse, they see something very clear because this bitch right here was creating illusions, playing mind games, being money hungry, doing dark magic. <laughs> like, yeah, somebody is liberating themselves from this shit fast because I feel like this person just lacked clarity before. If they had clarity, they would have y'all would have been together, really. Y'all would have been together, but somebody is breaking free of something with the Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody's getting ready to take a risk that's going to lead to success, okay? It's definitely going to be successful, whatever this is, because it's meant to be. You guys are counterparts here. But this is definitely returning, okay? This person is returning, all right? They're breaking free of whoever they're clashing with. That's that's what this is with the Temperance in Reverse. But with this fast energy, this fire... This person is really, really following their passion, their heart, everything. I feel like they're coming in with confidence here. Or they're breaking free of something with confidence because they see that something is off. The temperance is right here with the king of wands, queen of wands, six of cups. They know that you are their perfect balance. You are their, the yin to their yang. 
whoever this is that they're being exposed about is not. This person could have been married or something like that. But I feel like this is more so of a reunion than anything. Yeah, what's the four wands right here in the main spread? <clears throat> yep, Knight of Swords. Here they come. Here they come with Gemini. Gemini energy. You could have Gemini in your chart. Yeah, this person is coming, bro. They coming. <laughs> so regardless of what anybody says, this is sexy as fuck, Gemini. This is, I, I said Gemini, damn. Maybe go watch Gemini's reading. It could be tied into this one because Gemini's reading really pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. It really pissed me off. This deck is called What's the T? Okay, just type it in on Etsy. This is how the deck looks. All right. Yeah. And whoever this third party is, they, they getting the fucking boot. <laughs> they getting the boot, honey. They are definitely getting the boot. They getting kicked to the fucking curb. All that. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. This person, they could also be wanting to come to your house. You could live somewhere else. I feel like you live at a distance from them. You could live somewhere hot. They could live somewhere less like where the seasons are weird. Yeah, celebrating celebrating quietly, mom's the word. So yeah, something you and this person are gonna be celebrating. It's just gonna be quiet to keep people out of your fucking business. <laughs> just period, as you should. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what happened here. Yeah. Okay, blocking finances, inability to see the bigger picture. Yeah, this person was asleep. They didn't know that this person was trying to block their finances or whatever the fuck they were trying to do. Yeah, unchanged and living in the past. I mean, unchanged, unaltered and living in the past. Yeah. They, they're realizing that about whoever this person is. They won't change their ways. Somebody here could have cheated too. Someone is very promiscuous. This person here could be pregnant too. They could have gotten pregnant on this masculine by somebody else. Yeah, somebody is, is realizing that. They don't deserve no fucking second chances because they ain't changing shit. They only doing this to get some money. A lot about money here. This bitch is broke as fuck. Secret stash, stockpiling away. And then we have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. So I feel like I feel like this is your person too, though. This person probably does have PTSD from dealing with whatever this is. They could have been abused. Somebody could have been in an abusive relationship or this could be you. But I'm definitely getting there saving their money. Okay, they're, they're saving their money. They have something saved up here to balance things out. This person is coming into balance here. But I feel like somebody here was blocking this person's money. I don't know if they were taking it, stealing it, whatever the fuck. Okay. Someone could have found a stash of money somewhere. Yeah, so it says cursing themselves, bad decisions and regret. And then we have abandoned, left for dead. Yeah, this person here feels bad about leaving you for dead here because of some lies that's been spread about you. Slandering and bad mouthing, yes. Yeah, this person learned a very valuable lesson from that. <laughs> they did, because they coming in with their act together. Definitely your twin, strong twin flame energy. So we have burdens, mounting pressures, and then we have flings, wild things. Yeah, so you and this person, <laughs> they, yeah, I'm about to get y'all a freak on, okay. <laughs> That's what it feel like. It looked like that with all this passion, these wands here. This person could have a business. They could be an entrepreneur. <laughs> so flings, wild things. Yeah, somebody, somebody want to do something nasty with you. They could be sexually frustrated with burdens and mounting pressures. This person has been through it, <laughs> but that's what they ask get. That's what they get. They got their karma. So, okay. They made it right, which is good, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. What else? So we have multiple babies, Mari Povich style drama. Yeah, so for some of you, this person is finding out that a child is not even theirs. They cheated or they lied about something. This karmic that they were dealing with. Then we have sheeple follows the crowd. Yeah, somebody here is a follower. Or they're realizing that this person that they were with is a follower. Yeah, somebody was strateg strategizing to put access baggage on this person or you. They were doing this shit on purpose and using children to do so. <laughs> yeah, bitch. That's why your ass, that's why you're getting left. If you're watching, ho. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
isolation, remote and alone. Then we have underlying health issues, undiagnosed and unidentified. Yeah, somebody is hiding the fact that th they have a goddamn mental disorder. For some of you, if somebody was cheating and running around, somebody could have gotten an STD. Okay, but I feel like this person is realizing that something is wrong with this person that they're walking away from or this is you. Somebody does have a problem here. And it could be something like somebody is a gaslighter because whoever these kind of like people are, they hide it very well. They hide it very, very well here. I feel like this person is saying that about somebody's ass, that they're a goddamn loser and they, they fucking manipulative and doing shit on purpose to hurt somebody. Yeah, mm. they ain't got time. Neither do we. Okay, period. We ain't got time. We're leaving you bitches in the dust. So we have peaked already. Their glory days are over. Yeah. <laughs> somebody here could play football. Yeah, naive financially, big spender. Yeah, so somebody here is losing some money here. Where they was getting money from this person or whatever the fuck, they ass is getting abandoned. They're getting left for dead here. They are. They are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person was restricted. They were stuck in the past. They were stuck in the past here, taking care of whoever this is that was using them to begin with. What else? Yeah, mental health issues, <laughs> mood swings, apathetic, could not care less, and bougie, I'm so fancy. Mm, I bet, your eyes ain't gonna be too too fancy after you fucking lose this masculine <laughs> yeah i told you gaslighting psychological manipulation all because of there there was a new love here you and this person could be like um and this could be an interracial couple definitely twins are normally like that me and my twin my twin is caucasian and german and a whole bunch of shit italian Ooh, fine as hell <laughs> i ain't gonna lie he fine as fuck okay Ooh but yeah, you and your person, you could be melanated and this person could be like, you know, Caucasian. They could be of a different race, ethnicity, whatever, background. Yeah, but you and this person are the same. Opposites to track here. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, somebody was trying to manipulate somebody and all that and put extra baggage and use be a gaslighter. And you know what's crazy too? If you if this is your twin, you would notice that y'all have the same story. Because, honey, when me and my twin went in separation, probably like two years after, or yeah, when I moved here to Texas, child, I I didn't realize I was being like manipulated or gaslighted until my karmic exposed himself, okay? So most definitely you and your twin probably have the same situations if y'all sit down and talk about it. <laughs> if y'all really sit down and talk about it, y'all do. But yeah, this person is getting the fuck on here. They're taking action. Yeah, they're taking action to, to handle the situation like they're supposed to be doing. Yep, cleaning house. Yeah, they're they cleaning some shit up. they cleaning some shit up. Yeah, cancel. Somebody's getting plucked and kicked to the fucking curb. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> okay, trying to love bomb somebody. Girl or boy, bye. Let me see something real quick. What's, what's this Knight of Swords? Because we have the Knight of Swords up here. What's the Knight of Swords doing, Spirit, for Aries? What's the Knight of Swords doing right here? Okay, not okay. What's the Knight of Swords right here? Someone here could be a Virgo. <laughs> okay, this is this Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, your Emperor. Your Emperor is getting the fuck on, honey. They don't give a fuck. They're walking away to regardless. This person is arguing them down, fighting, uh, creating like hostility and animosity between them two. I feel like this person does not give a fuck. And this is how you starve a narcissist. You have to not give a fuck or not feed into the bullshit, especially once you awaken. Once you're awakened to people like this, you will know how to handle the situation. I'm telling you, you will know how to handle it. Like, can't nobody manipulate you no more, gaslight you no more, or whatever the fuck. Somebody here does not care. This person, for some of you, if this person lives somewhere else, they ass could be trying to figure out where this person is, is at so they can come see to your home or this person's home. Bitch, I wish you would. Y'all ass to get kicked in your goddamn mouth is at the door bitch <laughs> somebody here is crazy as fuck with the queen of swords in reverse this person is bitter they are bitter and oh well bitch oh well bitter betty <laughs> the fuck yeah somebody here is gossiping spreading rumors to a community with the four wands that's a community of people 
somebody here is coming to give their hard-earned money to somebody that deserves it and that's you empress that's you divine counterpart divine feminine yeah don't nobody got time for this shit bitch this is what this will get <clears throat> for real that is i don't feel i don't feel bad at all what else because this this person bro ugh. I don't know, Aries. I'm a little bit turned on by this person, okay? Because they reminded me of my twin. Because <laughs> I know, like, I already know it's spell work and all type of shit going on. Like, these bitches are crazy as fuck. And I don't give a fuck. You're not about to make me miss no opportunity because there's... I don't give a fuck about no bitter asshole. <laughs> I don't care. So we have expect the unexpected. Yeah, a sudden change or shift in, is in store for you. Whatever it is, it's for the best. Everything happens for a reason, even if it seems challenging at first. So you could be going through a lot of changes, okay? Because you're restricting yourself of anything that's holding you back. So you could be going through something like this person, okay? Or, you know, but or this could be just this person. But you could be, you're going through shifts too. You're, you know, you got your own life to live. You can't just sit and wear on your masculine. <laughs> okay, you just cannot, but something is changing for the better with y'all's connection for sure you're 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 liberating yourself of any restrictions and so are they <clears throat> so y'all can come into union so it says mother nature is calling to you to connect with her for grounding healing and centering seek out a, a scenic space outdoors and find gratitude for all living things touch see and feel all of the elements so some of y'all could be needing to get in nature Somebody could have been doing earth magic here to someone's finances, like dark magic to their, their money to keep them stuck, to keep them losing a job, losing jobs, losing money, all kind of shit. I'm getting that with like nature. Somebody works with nature to do work on somebody. Okay, crazy ass four. <laughs> all right, what else? So we have a develop a deeper connection with your ancestors and spirit guides by spending time in meditation and asking them for guidance. They have been trying to reach you, but you may have not responded. Ask for a confirmation and be open to receive. Okay, so maybe you need a confirmation about something that you're doing. I feel like you're going to get it. It's going to be exposed to you with the sun. Where the sun at? Yeah, right here, right on top of the sun. Yeah. What else? This is a period of purging and releasing karmic contracts, period. Subconscious blockages and other past experiences and energies. You may feel uncomfortable symptom symptoms, breathe, and surrender to this deep healing. Okay, yep. It's being purged. It's being purged, bitch. Bottom of the deck is the law of attraction is a powerful tool to assist you in manifesting all of your innermost desires. Script out your dreams, design a vision board, or spend time meditating on your dream dreams. Like attracts like. Okay, period. Yeah, somebody could be moving. Find a sacred place in your home or anywhere you feel drawn to. Dedicate this space to finding comfort, safety, and prayer. Yep. So this is a nice reading, um, Aries. Okay, so congrats in advance. It looks like something really, really good is happening here. Okay, period. <laughs> this is really nice. This is what it's supposed to be like, right? But I mean, not everybody wants their twin, but those of you that know about the journey and you want your person and you are you have this compassion and this understanding or whatever, it's going to happen to regardless. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people try to run away from something that's meant to happen because of their ego, right? And I get there's a third party. Nobody said that you had to be okay with it. So you handle the situation how you handle it. I'd be tired of explaining, honey. I'd be so tired of explaining all right about these journeys okay i just have a different understanding than a lot of people when it comes down to twins i've been on my journey for a minute so but this is your reading though i hope it resonated like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when i post and i will talk to you guys later bye aries